Who do you have back in in Atlanta? Who's like who's your normal sort of crew that you that you hit with there? Uh, so I have um Alvaro Tyrone. He um oh yeah, yeah. played yeah Alvaro. He he lives not that far from me. He's kind of where I started. Um, I have this guy Ken. He wins a lot of the money balls at the PPA. Um, he's from Japan. And then I have a uh, Marshall Brown and Rafa oh, yeah, live yeah. about an hour away. So so and they'll sometimes come down and I'll go up there so we <clears> practice <throat> a little bit. Is Ken the dude with like the crazy backhand flick that I've been hearing about? Yes, yes, he's, yeah, that's uh, the guy. yeah, he's the ping pong champ. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah that's him. That's him. 100%. Okay. That's Ken, yeah. I need so to get in one of those not. games. I need to learn from that dude. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's what I'm trying to learn. Yeah, he does it really well, and it seems very natural for him. So yeah, that seems to be the last thing that tennis players pick up is a backhand flick, right? And I watched a decent amount of your match with uh, you and Julian versus Connor and and Tyler. And they were kind of picking you on you on that backhand spot. Those one hundred percent, right? And yeah. you're you're super comfortable, kind of like cutting that volley. But that's not a super threatening thing, right? As soon as no. I see you're up here for that one, I'm like, all right, I can. One hundred percent. Yeah, I agree with you. That's what I'm working on. Travis says it all the time, and like I, I try to get my gumptions up to do it, and I'm like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, and then I'm like, no, let me go back to comfort. So I'm, I'm working on it, and um, in practice. I'm doing it a lot more, but I just got to figure out the the grip change and where I'm going with it. Like, mm. and that's like target? Point. Yeah, like it, it seems line is a lot easier than cross for me. Yeah, cross is a really, really flicky shot, right? Mm-hmm. Line, you can sort of push the way that, you know, we might be a little bit more used to. The, the cross court, you really have to just all wrist snap it. I'm working on that one too that's not super natural <laughs> okay all right look good to know i'm not the only one working on it but yeah you're probably way further along than i am but it's definitely a shot i need i can tell and you know i'm seeing kind of like the things i need to improve from playing and seeing what they pick on so that's definitely one of them for sure what else you got what else you need to work on yeah give, give me another one i like this <laughs> you know what uh, just taking the Things out of the the air in general to apply some pressure, take some time away. I'm way more comfortable off the bounce because it's just a more natural like feel, you know, like to back up and hit it. But out of the air is something I'm working on. And just um, I want to go power. I want to hit it hard through the person, whereas, you know, most of the time where placement could be a lot more useful and uh, beneficial. Yeah. Well, I mean, you do have, you do have power. I was, again, I was watching that match and I watched some of your mixed doubles matches from this, this past week. I'm like, I don't know if anybody clobbers a forehand harder than Donald Young is right now. You know, even, <laughs> even Jack Sock, Ignatowicz sometimes, but he's not hitting it quite as hard anymore. I think Deckel, when he's really in a good rhythm is, is clobbering that ball, but also these guys are taking much bigger swings at it. And you have, really sort of compact and explosive power on that forehand side. <clears throat> Anybody else that you think is like up there in terms of, of forehand power? Well, obviously sock, like, you know, and tennis, that's just, you know, has a quick twitch, um, just arm and wrist in general. So yeah, Jack, myself, Deco hits me pretty big when he hits it. It comes off that paddle nice and hot. And then, um, yeah, there's a few guys, those guys hit it pretty good. Uh, you know, paddle is, you know, kind of, uh, big as well but for me it's just a it was my best shot in tennis is more of a natural stroke and I, and I hit it pretty quick like my arm it had always been relatively loose and quick for those type of shots yeah I think that's the I mean I keep going back to saying that I think that's the most important thing that translates from tennis is not necessarily how hard overall you can hit a, a forehand right like if you had Juan Martin Del Potro out there he can obviously clobber a forehand harder than anybody but he's got an enormous swing I think the guys that have that really sort of compact power, like like you, Jack, uh, and Nick Kyrgios, I like to see that sort of uh, swing translate a little bit better, I think, to, to pickleball. Yeah, no, I agree. It's all like that, that just quick, yeah, with the forearm, just quick snap. Like it doesn't need to be, because a lot of guys can generate power with a huge swing because, you know, that's just what it is and their string and tension and racket. But just to be able to generate it from like a short, you know, swing is important and, and, and not that many people have that, but some do have it. It's, and it's more like the guys who have a more wristy action, I think, are able to really generate um, the power fast. And like like um, Thomas over there. 
yeah. <laughs> Big <laughs> <Pull the clip>. <laughs> <laughs> This is good, dude. Donald, uh, do you want to come back next week? <laughs> 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 and, uh, no, no, that was fun. We had a lot of fun games out there in uh, Phoenix, though. I enjoyed that. Um, was yeah, uh, there were some there were some good ones and some not so uh, yeah, some not so good ones. I've seen your highlights on YouTube at all yeah, that bro. backyard court. I oh, I don't know whose court that was, but I've seen it. Clutch, yeah. Okay, got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I lose every match <laughs> I play there. I'm I'm really good at uh like you can make highlight tapes of me all day long because I'll do some interesting stuff. I lose every match. Oh, uh, okay. So the meat and potatoes of it isn't good. Yeah, yeah. The highlights yeah. are good. Okay, got He's it. He's in it for yeah, the clips. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, man. <laughs> You're in social media. That's what it's all about. They, yeah, yeah. I'm like the whole thing. one of those basketball YouTubers who's like sick, right? Got millions of followers. You put them in a G League match and they can't score points. Yeah, you know? 100%. No, I that's, agree. That's me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we talked a little bit about uh, various pickleball clubs, um, how they can range, and kind of the market opportunity there which I, I think is quite obvious especially to us in pickleball so if you've ever thought about investing in pickleball facility the pickleball club is looking for accredited investors um, so they're developing a premier membership based private indoor pickleball uh, facility chain in the united states and they open their first one in sarasota florida in may 2023 and they have six more in development across florida florida obviously a really hot market for pickleball, but there's an unmet demand for weatherproof indoor pickleball courts. So if they want to have many clubs nationwide and uh, really just like ride the wave of this pickleball growth, uh, they're doing a private offering for accredited investors. Uh, so you have to be an accredited investor. Um, revenue streams are memberships, lessons, events, and merchandise sales. So diversified revenue, and uh, obviously, there's high potential for return on investment. Uh, it's a replicable model. Um, again, you know, they're working on having their seventh club here in Florida soon and, and going nationwide. And uh, pickleball facilities are a pretty stable business. Um, so they offer a strong financial return potential in what I think we all agree is a, a booming market. So to potentially become an investor in the pickleball club you can go to the pickleballclub.us slash invest that's the pickleballclub.us slash invest and uh you know have a personal stake in the growth of of pickleball 